Hey guys, Brian here with Be Free Productions. Today I want to do a kind of fun, informal video, something a lot of you guys were asking me about. I did a video a while back about how to route Vienna Ensemble Pro into Studio One and use all your contact instances in VEP and then have them going into Studio One. It saves RAM and resources um, and it's a great way to kind of manage your template. So a lot of you were asking me how to do multi outputs of a contact instance if you have one instance of contact loaded and then you have multiple instruments each going to their own track their own audio output and their own MIDI channel so a lot of you know how to do that within contact itself but if you don't know I'll go over that too so I'm gonna start very simply and we'll just ignore all of this and everything I have here and we will set up a new instance right here now the first thing I do is just delete the master bus um, I would bypass it anyway because I want each of my tracks to go to their own audio output so it's just a personal preference that I do as soon as I load up a new instance so we have totally blank slate here now I'm gonna go here and insert a plugin and I'm gonna use contact because it's multi timbral and we all kind of know all about it so there is contact now I'm just going to take this and load up an instrument. I'll do the solo instruments from Audio Imperia uh, Nucleus. So here it looks all messed up because it's not initialized or connected inside of Studio One yet. So again, label everything unless you want to be a complete disorganized slob. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Do whatever you want. Now we'll go here and inside our plugins over here in the browser, go to VSL and Vienna Ensemble Pro. Um, move my little camera out of the way. I always use the VST3 version. It doesn't matter. Um, but just make sure you're using the 64-bit here, Vienna Ensemble Pro X64, either VST2, which it shows you right there, or the VST3. I'm going to drag that in. So it says not connected. So it's as simple as hitting connect, finding our instance, which I just did there. And now this should be connected. Now you see the GUI is now kind of normal. Obviously, what do we do with the multis? Now, I'm gonna go here inside of one instance of contact and again load up every solo instrument here oboe trumpet french horn cello and flute so many of you know this if you don't know how to set up multi outputs in contact it's quite simple so we're going to go to our outputs outputs here and hit the plus button now how many do i want i'm going to do six the quantity is how many different instruments you want um, how many audio tracks you want in your mixer so I loaded up six so I want six number of channels that is two for a stereo channel if you only set it to one it will only be mono and it will sound all like crap so I'm gonna go here and uh, sound card slash host output I always start at uh, this so we have you know each one two for the each stereo track of each instrument I just started at one and so we'll add all these starting at one two three four five six for the outputs now you'll notice down here this one's doubled um, these two are both on the same output of one two you can either go in on each one and change that all I do really is just click it and delete it and then you can re relabel them all so it says you know ST1 stereo 2 stereo 3 I just leave it like this if you use the aux channels uh, once you hit 4 uh, the fifth output will always be mono I've noticed and it's kind of a pain in the butt so I just do that then we'll go here minimize that now we're going to want to make sure that each of these are routed properly so MIDI channel 1 output stereo 2 output stereo 3 and it shows you each one so 1 2 3 4 5 6 everything just gonna wanna make sure those correspond they're not gonna be the same number because I started out weird and deleted that first channel if that's a big deal for you all you have to do is just rename them down the line yeah, there might be another way if someone 
knows that please comment below I'm not a mastermind this is just how I do it so all of those are now have their own channel as you can see their own MIDI channel and their own audio output so in the mixer they'll have their own things their own tracks now you'll notice we still have just this one solo violin all we want to do is hit that little plus button right there so one two three four five six they're all going to be labeled solo violin just go in and label those I think this is flute if it's not flute well we'll just rename it later so a lot of this is just really simple just making sure everything coordinates with each other so the outputs again they're all in the same right now you just want to um, want to go down the line and make sure that they're not all in the same output and there's nothing doubled up or anything so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so we have this right here uh, MIDI channel is one now we're going to go in here, and as you can see, MIDI in 1-1. One, one. That's that violin. Just our violin there. Where's all the other instruments? In Studio One, there's a tiny little button right there. Hover over it, and it says Outputs. So we're going to go and enable these outputs. And as you can see, they pop up there on the mixer as I'm doing it. And then, just make that a bit bigger you can hold control and scroll in with your mouse wheel or just do what I did and just go like that so this is the plugin that they're connected to Vienna Ensemble Pro 6 and the MIDI in is 1 1 for that because in here this is contact is on MIDI channel 1 and then within contact itself we have MIDI channel 1 is the solo violin and channel 2 is the solo cello and so on and so forth so we'll label that real quick now a very easy way to do this within studio one is uh, right click and then simply hit duplicate track that'll make uh, the same thing same plugin it's connected to VN Ensemble Pro except we'll go here into the instrument channel and we will go to MIDI in 1-2 So there you have it, and as you can see down here in the mixer, it's on its own channel. Um, if it's coming through the same channel, then you did something wrong. Uh, again, it's very tedious just making sure that each of these channels has their own audio output, or else it's all going to come through that same audio channel. So it's just really... It's tedious, but it's simple, um, and but it can be a pain in the ass if you have one little thing wrong and one channel's doubled. You've got to go in and, and check every single one. But again, so we've got that, and really you can just duplicate every single one and then adjust the MIDI channel. So there's the flute. Again, label it. Labeling and making sure everything's routed is it's it's a pain in the butt once you get it set up it's so much easier when you just load up this big template everything's there and ready to go um, if you don't want to duplicate those tracks like I have been doing um, you can just go in and add a track so I think that's the oboe so I'll go in and add a solo trumpet um, add a track and name it that instrument track we will do two and so if you guys remember when we saw the um, the existing instruments down here we used Vienna Ensemble Pro 6 as the it's the name of what this instance is um, so you just find that where it is connected and just select the right channel I have so uh, violin cello flute oboe I'll go to five I, ex I added two, but all you got to do is just go in here and six, and they're already labeled. And here's the horn. So it, it's easy as that. Um, you can add the tracks up there, and they will all kind of already be go down the line with the MIDI inputs, or you can just click it and hit duplicate. 
Um, it's all up to you what you want to do. So there it is. There are my one instance of contact with six instruments loaded. Um, hit the plus to get the outputs. Go in here, connect everything. Hit that so you have all your outputs show up in the mixer. And then once you get all that going up, it's just a matter of making sure that these channels correspond with VEP and going in and labeling everything. So it's a simple, but it's, it's not the easiest thing to do. It's just a bit tedious. It takes a little bit of time to set up. Um, and it can be a pain in the ass. It can be very intimidating for people who first get this and are like, what the, this is so complicated. It's overwhelming. I don't know what to do. Um, really in reality, it's a simple thing. It just, you know, takes a little bit of detail and, and seeing what everything is corresponding to and getting them all, all of those outputs there. It's just, it's couple different very complex programs talking to each other so you've got to make sure they're all on the same page um, so that there it is very quick tip so yeah hope everyone's staying safe out there this is my uh, quarantine blog of the day how to set up multi outputs with contact or any other multi timbral instrument in Vienna Ensemble Pro and then route that to Studio One. Works the same with any other uh, DAW, any DAW. If you have any questions at all, uh, please leave a comment. I try to respond to every single one. And this was actually made because people kept commenting. So I do listen and I take your feedback seriously. So thanks so much, guys. Remember to please subscribe. If you want to support the channel, uh, give it a like, give it a share, whatever you want to do. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you.